Hello Kai Lifers and welcome to Let's Play Football Manager 2019. Now I am super hyped about recording these videos. Now I'm something of a, a football manager um, veteran, I guess you could say. I've played football manager um, since right back in the day when it used to just be championship manager and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the first time I had Championship Manager was running it from disc, from floppy disc. I've missed a couple in the last seven or eight years, maybe, um, mainly because I know how much time it sucks. I mean, it's it's glorious time. It's glorious time. It brings out the proper football obsessive in me and anyone that plays it. I've created myself. Obviously, it's a spitting image of me, as you can see, minus, minus the hat. I've given myself... Uh, a nice um, a nice puffer jacket with a red zip and that's pertinent because I'm going to be manager of my beloved Manchester United. We're going to oust Jose Mourinho because he's not done a great job as manager of Manchester United. Uh, okay, this is something I do like to do. Disable first window transfer activity. So I like to turn that off um, because I like things to... Bas basically, that's in the past, the first transfer window of the season because that closed... Um, in September. Uh, so I like things to basically be correct up to the present. I don't mind if things change in the future with transfers, obviously, within the game. But I like to keep the first window transfers down to basically what they've been. There is going to be a lot of this that I am not too sure on in terms of new stuff in the game. So I'm going to be I'm going to be learning learning as we go so like i said there's been a massive overhaul in training in this game um a lot more control over it. i think it's a lot more um fastidious is that the word a lot more kind of precise you have a lot more control over it i've never enjoyed getting involved with the training aspect in these games to be honest mainly because it's been really overwhelming so i may take a look but usually i just delegate that to my assistant manager um i am liking the purple everywhere it's a very kai life purple all over the place i'm digging it i'm i'm digging it all right here we go man united board of today confirmed the appointment of kai garcia's new boss at old trafford garcia enjoys a growing reputation oh yeah within football let's hope that the appointment will take man united onto bigger and better things he replaced his previous manager jose Mourinho. i put jose out of a job now listen irl i've always been a massive fan of jose Mourinho, and i wanted him at manchester united for such a long time in real life and it's just not really worked. So I'm not going to feel too guilty. We know Jose Mourinho will find himself in a new job. All right, here's my welcome then. Welcome from Edward Wood, my chairman. I'd like to formally welcome you to Man United. The board would like to assure you that you can rely on their full backing and they look forward to working with you. Let's have a look. I've got a, a one-year contract worth a very tasty £190,000 a week. I'll take that all day long, thank you. Um, okay. Staff members have been retained, which is all good. So this is new. So there's been an overhaul to the tactics as well. You're going to learn about this with me. Tactics express how you want your team to play. The key aspects of any tactic are outlined below are the numerous ways. Okay, so we've got three different aspects here. Mentality, the team's core attacking intent ranging from very defensive to very attacking. Team instructions, position in transition and out of possession. So that's new. So broken down into three phases. When you've got the ball... Um, in transition between those two, being posi in possession and out of possession, and of course out of possession. Uh, we've got your formation and individual player roles. So these two are sort of football manager, bread and butter. The first one, the tactical style, that's new. Okay, we can take the tactics induction. I actually might skip this and just have a look at it as we go. I know that they've now made presets on your tactics so you can actually select geg and press or tiki tack and all those kind of things and it will set it up as a as a kind of template which you can work with all right um brief report on the club's recent signings now we've had fred and diogo delo come in those are jose Mourinho's signings now fred has been irl underwhelming and hasn't played too much his stats are very very good though his stats are very, very good. He's got a, a good passing stat. 14 is not a bad passing stat. Dribbling, first touch and technique are all nice and high. 15 and above is a is a good stat. Now, like I say, he hasn't played very much IRL, but I feel like on paper, 
he could be very good. Now, Diogo Delo was signed for nearly £20 million. He's a right back. He's a young right back, 19 years of age. He can play right back or left back. Um, and again, some promising stats. He's very young. Um, at the moment, he's got damaged knee cartilage. So he's out and he's out between seven weeks and three months. So he won't be playing for a little while yet. Everyone else is out on loan. And amongst those, amongst those we've got some that we can be semi-excited about. Timothy Fosu Mensa, of course. Cameron Borthwick Jackson, he had games under Louis van Gaal when he was manager of Manchester United. Um, so here's your your injury update for now. Recurring injuries, I think that's a new, is that a new one? I'm not sure actually. Uh, so we've got by Fellaini. Fellaini, who's got two injuries at the moment, two recurring injuries, that's excellent. Phil Jones, Anthony Martial and Paul Pogba. Now Paul Pogba, the enigma that is Paul Pogba. Now, arguably the most talented guy in the Man United side, again, has not fulfilled his promise as a United player since joining IRL from Juventus, or I should say rejoining. I want to make him a focal point of the team because if he's played in the right place, I'm sure in this game, let's open up our tactics. Okay, goodness me, this is completely different. Let's set up a tactic. Okay, here we go. So this is what I was talking about. We've got control possession, geg and press, tiki taka, vertical tiki taka, wing play, route one. Uh, we've got fluid counter attack. Then behind my head, we've got direct counter attack. Um, right, I'm not sure how to pronounce catenaccio, so I'm going to say catenaccio and hope that that's the right Italian pronunciation. Park the bus, and then we've got create your own style. Um, we're not going to be parking the bus. I'm going to be looking at, well, one of a few different options here. So Tiki Taka is probably my favourite amongst these. Keeping the ball, as it says, relentless pressing and then patiently waiting for openings. It's not always the most exciting to watch, but as we've learned from Barcelona in the Guardiola years... And um, from Spain, in their most successful years, it's super successful. Um, Gegen Press is also incredibly, an incredibly attractive tactic right now. Jurgen Klopp is the biggest exponent of Gegen Press. So it's a high energy, instantly looking to win back possession, pressing all over the pitch. It's one that takes a lot of energy from your players. So lots of energy sapping in that tactic. I think I would like to go for tiki taka right now now tiki taka as opposed to geg and press gives a little bit more a little bit more um well here we go look at this we get we get a little graphic to do with it fantastic um in transition rather out of possession it sometimes allows a little bit more space for the opposition than geg and press which is just instant go get the ball go get the ball go get the ball um, so let's have a little look about what it says here. So it's a positive mentality. We know that in possession, shorter passing. We play out of defence. Now, I'm aware that Man United at the moment in their defence do not have the players to successfully play the ball out of defence. Chris Smalling, Phil Jones, Lindelof, Rojo. Not the best at passing the ball out of defence. But I'm going to try and make that part of my style as Man United manager. In transition, quick distribution, holding the shape, counter press. Out of possession, we've got a high defensive line, higher line of engagement, um, looking to prevent short goalkeeper distribution. So basically trying to remove being ticky tackered in reverse, if you like. Now looking at Gegen press, we've got more passing into space as opposed to passing to players. Now, that's something that may suit my players in terms of Rashford, Martial, um, Lingard, players with pace. I'm open to try and and press. I'm going to start with Tiki Taka, and we're going to go for choose a formation. All right. Now, this is, at the moment, one of the most Man United staples, and I like this, but I want to make Paul Pogba a big feature a big feature in how I in how I play. So I'm very tempted. I don't know if I can edit this here. I can't. It seems to me that this is a... Okay, this is something more akin to what I'd like to do with possibly Pogba playing in the advanced playmaker role. 
I haven't quite decided. Certainly not this. Okay, let's let's start with this. All right, here we are then. I do like the UI this year. I do like the UI. The UI is great. Um, we might just do quick pick and then go from there. Let's let's see what it what it picks automatically. Okay, yeah, a whole bunch of players that don't play in any of these positions. That's fine. So let's um, let's go through this. Now, Romelu Lukaku, likely to be up top. Let's start with uh, Alexis Sanchez on the left, coming off the left. And right then, we've got, well, we've got a choice here. We've got Jesse Lingard. Rashford can work out there. Mata can work out there. Not ideal for these players. Rashford, Mata, I'd even argue Lingard and Martial, not natural wide players. I prefer the idea of having Martial more central, possibly up front. I might even try playing two up front at some point. At the moment, I'm I'm just getting it as close to as close to what's happening in real life with Manchester United, apart from trying to give more of a feature to Paul Pogba. There goes the siren. Okay, now let's see if Pogba is comfortable playing in an attacking role. Not particularly. There's that siren. Give it to me. Okay, well, we can have him play as an advanced playmaker. So we'll do that for now. But I want a lot of my play to go through Pogba for sure. We're going to have Matic in this defensive midfield role. There's no doubt about that. Uh, he says, there he is. He's injured at the moment. That's fine. I'm going to set this up just, just as I'd want my first team to be. Um, so deep line playmaker for Nemanja Matic. Now alongside Pogba, we need someone who's going to offer more of a defensive outlook. Now, Herrera can do that. He's down as a box-to-box -box midfielder. He does a lot of work defensively. My other option is sticking in someone like Marianne Fellaini, who I cannot stand. And Fred is obviously another option, and he is down as a defensive midfielder. Um, at the moment, well, let's keep Herrera in there. Mata is obviously also an option, but Mata is a little bit of a luxury player for me right now. He's slow, fantastic vision, not a natural in this system, Juan Mata. And I love the guy, but he could be my full guy in this system. I'm going to put Jesse Lingard out on the right for now. Uh, he's fairly comfortable. Actually, he's fairly comfortable playing that role. And Lukaku is obviously target man. We know that. At the back, ideally, I think I'd have Eric Bailly. Um Oh, no, he's... Not injured. I thought he was injured. Maybe he was only injured for a short amount of time. And it's difficult to know who to put alongside by, to be honest. We've got Chris Smalling or Phil Jones. Phil Jones. Or we've got Lindelof as well, of course. Yeah, basically the United defence is, is certainly a weak point. Now, Antonio Valencia, I just want to check how long he's out for. Five weeks and two months. So he's going to be out for a while. We're in June. So he's probably not going to be fit to start the season. We'll put Ashley Young out there at the moment. Shaw is fit to all intent and purpose. One of my favourite players, Luke Shaw at Man United. It's fantastic to see him on good form IRL. Okay, it's not a bad place to start. Now, one option that I would look to exercise is to push Matic into more of a central role, like so. And then give Pogba the option of running forwards. You used to be able to do this with arrows. You can't do that anymore. So in old football manager or championship manager, you used to be able to right-click and then drag an arrow and basically dictate where you'd like players to move into. Uh, you can't do that anymore. But I feel like it's a little bit of a moot point. All right, we've got Ashley Young, who's been playing left-back IRL for United. But he can play right-back as well. And we've got David De Gea, who for some reason... Okay, he was down as a sweeper keeper. We'll have him just as a standard goalkeeper. 